Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger, and I welcome you to God's Move channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. If you're watching me for the first time, you are highly welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining this family. Just click on the button to subscribe, to like the videos, and share it with your loved ones. And God, who is the Word of men, will bless you mightily and abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. For my consistent subscribers, God bless you. Thank you for always being there. May the Almighty God bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you. May He, may he be gracious unto you. And may He give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The prophetic word of the Lord says, Come out. It is time. Come out. Come out of that place. Come out of that dungeon. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, Chapter 3. He said, For there is time for everything. There is time for everything. You have been in that dungeon for too long. You have been there for so long. They have been hiding you there. They have been keeping you there. Hallelujah. They have been keeping you there. Thinking, saying, Oh, that is that that will be your downfall. That is the end of your life. You will not get anything. They have been keeping you in that dungeon for too long. The Lord said, It's time to come out. It's time to come out. Do not relent on your effort. It's time to come out. Just as blind Bartimaeus, why he heard the moment he heard Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming, and he started calling. They told him, "No, do not call. Why are you calling him? Call him. There are so many people here, and there's a lot of noise. He will not hear you." He kept persisting. He said, "God." He said, "He said, Jesus, Son of David." And Jesus said, "Who called me? Who called me?" who call me such will be your testimony because in that level or in that dungeon where you are there is someone benefiting behind you there is someone living on you hallelujah blind Bertimus was there begging 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 for food and everything that means there was someone keeping him there there was somebody keeping him there and that is why when he started calling jesus he says do not shout do not call him because nobody he will not hear you there are a lot of people so therefore they discourage him beware of those who are always there to discourage you or to talk to you other times negatively hallelujah praise master jesus beware the man at the pool of bethesda the Bible says he was busy. he was there for thirty some thirty six years, not thirty six days, not thirty six months, not thirty six weeks. Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. He was there for years. So therefore, in that place, meaning he cannot eat, he cannot take shower, he cannot do anything, and you and I understand that nobody will be there for that lengthy period of time without eating. He will die. So therefore, there was someone contented having him being there. There was someone providing him shelter, providing him food, water to drink, and everything at that place where he where he was. But nobody was there to do what to help him. Take just take him and pull him into the water. For him to be healed as soon as he sees the angel of the Lord coming to the sin. Because the Bible says his condition made it possible for his eyes to be opened to see that he sees an angel of the Lord descending from heaven to come and slay the water. And then he starts creeping, be start creeping to get there. Before he gets into it, someone has gotten into it. Why could those people that provide him food and water to drink not stay by him? To say, okay, the moment you see an angel of the Lord coming, tell us so that we just carry you and drop you there. So they were contented. They were happy keeping him there. So in that dungeon where you are, in that pit where you are, in that place where you are, there is someone happy, excited seeing you there. Until you decide to come out of it, you will never come out of that place. Until you say, enough is enough. I need to come out. You will not come out of that place. You will not come out of that dungeon. But the Lord said, I should tell you, it is time. It is time for time and season happening unto them all. It is your time. Your set time of joy. Your set time of celebration. Your set time of the man manifestation of God's power, of God's glory has come. He said, your time is now and that time is right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as the time of Joseph, Joseph came, he was, he was removed out of the dungeon. As the time of David came, he was anointed. Even from the forest, he left, he left the forest to the palace as a king. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Your time of elevation has come. Your time of the manifestation of God's power, of God's glory has come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. In the name that is above every other name, whatever was holding you come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it is hereby broken. It is hereby destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. It is time for you to manifest the full power of God. It is time for you to manifest the glory of God. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, for the endless expectation of men waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. You have been in that dungeon for too long. In that time of manifestation has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I'm today, let the power of God be revealed in your life. Like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of that dungeon. Come out of that pit. Come out of that hole. And be the businessman God calls you to be. And be the teacher God calls you to be. And be a pastor, an evangelist, a prophet, an apostle. And be and be whom God calls you to be. And be that successful person God called you to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I place you onto that place, onto that realm of success. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever that would try to hold you down. May it never live to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are favored and you are lifted. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stay blessed. And may God bless you. I hope you receive this word with gladness. And as you hearken unto the voice of God, as you stand up from that pit, it doesn't matter how many times you have fallen. But how fast you can say, Father, I recognize that I have fallen. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me. And use my service of honor. And as you repeat as you repeat this prayer I just made right now, and you pray sincerely with an open heart and a pure spirit, the Lord will restore you. The Lord will restore you. The Lord will restore you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will move in the full potential which God created you to be. To create you to be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stay blessed. And may God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, your time of manifestation has come. Your time of elevation has come. And I'd like you to write on the comment below, my time has come. My time has come. What is, your what, is, what is the time for you? My time of glory. My time of the manifestation of God's power. My time has come. In Jesus' mighty name. My time, Pastor Roger, has come to preach the gospel, to set the captive free, to restore to restore humanity back onto divinity. In the name of Jesus Christ, my time has come. And so shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Stay blessed. And may God bless you. Amen. Shalom, God bless you.